heavenly powers sing choirs of angels. They exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God said, Let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves. And then God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God, he created them, male and female. He created them. God saw all he had made, and indeed, it was very good. This isn't how I imagined that I'd be celebrating Easter this year. Sitting in a garden, drinking coffee. I'm sure by next year everything will be back to normal. Whatever normal will be. Maybe it will be a new normal. Things are different at the moment. We can't visit friends, spend time with them. We can't socialise. Some of us can't really work while others are working even harder than normal. Some people are spending far more time with family than they used to, while other members of the family can't be seen. These restrictions will come to an end. And what then? Everything goes back to how it was before? Well, for many, probably. But maybe there are a few who don't want things to go back to how they were before. Maybe, maybe this time of isolation, of forced separation from people, has provided an opportunity to reflect on what is really important, where our priorities really lie. Maybe it's given time to think about all those people that we never seem to have time to meet up with, but now dearly love to spend 10 minutes over a coffee. What about all those things that we always said we'd get round to, but never had the time, never made the time? Or the things we carried on doing because we thought, well, the world had come to an end if I stopped. We couldn't imagine not doing certain things, but now we're not able to, and the world still goes on. No, maybe there's an opportunity to think about how we would like things to be when the restrictions are lifted.
When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdalene, Mary, the mother of James, and Salome bought spices with which to go and anoint him. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb, just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in a white robe, seated on the right-hand side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, There is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. But you must go and tell his disciples and Peter, He is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him. Just as he told. After Jesus had died on the cross, many people just wanted things to get back to normal. The Romans, the Pharisees, many of the people in the city. Even some of his followers just wanted things to get back to normal. It had been good while it lasted. It was good when he was around. But he's gone. Let's just get back to how things were. It wasn't that bad. But for some, just a few to start with, Things were different. Their time with Jesus had given them an opportunity to reflect on what was truly important to them. And their life was different. It may take them years to come to understand just how different it was going to be. But the discovery of that empty tomb on the first Easter was the beginning. It was a start. This year, when we aren't able to gather, we aren't able to celebrate things in the way we would normally do, we had an opportunity to reflect on how we can celebrate the resurrection, how we can live it, perhaps in new ways. Happy Easter.